Welcome to this info video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we want to set up the demo data project and show all necessary steps to fulfill it. Let's start and open Applications Master, which you installed with the Trimble Photogrammetry software. We will use for help the tutorial from Match 80. The demo data are aerial images from a photogrammetric camera, so we will open an aerial sensor project. The camera is a P65, so I will call the project here or the description P65 example. I'm the operator, I will keep the log file as standard, and we will use the local coordinate system. All input data is already in the same coordinate system, so we don't need to transfer this. This would be part of our basic training and advanced trainings with the software, which you can also order through sales. Let's say OK. And we continue now through the different entries from the edit part. So we will enter camera, import our photos, import the GNS data the control points, define strips, and define our standard deviations. You can also double click the entries here to enter the values from this part. So let's start with the camera sensor. We can either create a new camera by clicking the plus button, selecting the sensor type if it's a analog camera or digital camera, in our case it's a digital camera and in our case it's the P65 from TAC, so which will be the TAC P65 here, and then we can define uh, camera ID. For the camera ID we could use, for example, from the calibration protocol, which is included in the demo data, the serial number, so H68019, add the camera and now enter all necessary values from the camera calibration protocol which would also be part of a training where we explain how you can enter here correctly the mount, how to define correctly the image sensor system and also the distortion values. So all this you could do then uh, from this part. I will here shorten up, I will import an existing camera already which is included in a former info project file and here we will then go to our demo data in the project folder prepared. We will open up this one, there's the camera already part of it and then we have this camera here included. Please check that the sensor size is correctly, the camera mount is correctly to 90, that we have the correct focal length correct pixel size and also for the image coordinate system the correct principal point values for the distortion the correct K1 and K2 values. That's it, I will just remove my former one and we keep the one that I imported, I say OK and then you should see the entry one. Let's save the project Trimble Photogrammetry uh, video tutorial Next step we import our images We will select the frames and choose to import here a complete folder or directory We will have as initialization data later on 500 meters. So let's navigate to the image folder, enter for the terrain height 500 meters, which you can also find in the PDF tutorial. At the moment we don't have GNSS, so I will not initialize with this. Say next, and we will keep the IDs as they are. All the settings we can choose here in the importer 
is part again from the basic training that you can order. That's it for the photos. Um, the coordinates for them will be coming later. So we continue with the GNSS IMU data. We import here from the input folder the GPS IMU file. We start the import from lane number 17 and we will use here group separators um, well, which will not help us here forever. Then we say next and next and we select now this column, say this is the ID, this is our easting, this is our north, this is our height, this is omega, phi and kappa. Please check that they are correctly applied, we say next. And our ID here is identical with the photo ID names. So the GNSS ID and the photo ID, they are matching. Please don't compare these two values. This is only our candidate, so you have to know how your photo ID is looking like. This is not the photo ID. This is the GNSS candidate from what is extracted from it. So we say next and then we import them with the local coordinate system. Again, this is part of the training where we would see how we can merge them into one coordinate system. We use here the photogrammetric rotations and we will use initialization from GNSS IMU and continue the wizard and finish the data. GNSS import. We define standard deviations by selecting here default values and then we can here finish the GNSS import and just to double check we go back to the frames and look if for each photo now here X, Y, Z and Omega Phi Kappa values exist. This is fine and we continue with the control point import. We can here import the from the input folder the ground control file and here again we start from row 1 we choose tab and plank separation and again we select the column and say this is the ID, this is easting, this is north, this is height and we can even choose what type of control point this is um, also possible to define here. Then we keep the candidates as they are. We are still in the same coordinate system and we imported our control points. We define our standard deviations by using the wizard and here we need to know the pixel size which is 6 microns and the manual accuracy for measuring points is about a third pixel and for automatic ones we can achieve a fifth, par a fifth of a pixel. This is below 2 microns so we will say yes we want to keep 1.2, do not correct it for 2 microns, I want to keep 1.2. The standard deviation for um, planimetric accuracy we will put on a third pixel accuracy which is 3 centimeters and for the height with the base height ratio of 1 to 3 we will here have about 10 centimeters accuracy and we can here say OK and we can define our strips. We will generate the strips automatically, we need them later on when we do the automatic type point matching we can even, uh, see where the type points are coming from different strips or not. We will keep the standard IDs, we will use here an azimuth of 5 degree tolerance and 100% distance tolerance. This is again part of the training, what we can here change and how we can apply here for difficult data sets better values and so we automatically created them. We see there is one photo which could not be automatically assigned and we will remove image 38. So yes, should the system autocorrect for this defect now and remove it? Yes, remove image 38. And we can save the project and we are now done with all the imports. 
The standard deviation here is a summary of the standard deviations we already have defined. So you should find them here again in the same manner to have these values set up for the standard demo data. They are of course different with different data sets, but again, this is now here just for the demo data. If you are more interested in your own data, how to set it up, we strongly recommend uh, basic training. Okay, so we can close here the project editor and here uh, choose the fit view and then you should see here the project in a similar way set up. You see we have strips going east to west and we have also three strips going north south. They have different uh, flying height these um, images because this is a calibration block um, and we will then continue later on only with the east-west um, data sets and will not use the north-south for our processing. Thank you very much for watching this introduction to the demo data and have fun. See you later. Bye.